Hi guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to use this blank sheet of paper to mock up art. Um, last time we had art that had a super white, white background and it was, that's like the easiest one to mock up. Today it's something a little bit more difficult. The art is going to go edge to edge. So we're going to fill up this whole white piece of paper with art. There's going to be no white backgrounds anywhere. So first let's get this thing ready. So make sure you have your colors set right and your brightness and contrast and all that kind of stuff. I usually do most of that in Lightroom, but if I need to do it in here, I do it in here as well. Now here I will clean up some of this because there's some little specks of paint or dirt or whatever was on that little piece of paper that we're going to get rid of before we get started. So to do that, Go to your tools menu that's either attached to your side over here or it's just floating around and we're going to grab this one right here it is called a spot healing brush or the letter j on your desk on your keyboard so click the letter j and you're going to get that selected now find your little spot that you want to clean up and use your brackets on your keyboard um, the open bracket or close bracket to go up and down in size or right click on your mouse to choose a different size. I like to use the brackets um, just because it's so convenient to just quickly click on your keyboard. So write them down on like a little sticky note and put them on your monitor so you always have them. Okay, so um, choose a size that's not like way too big and not way too small, just enough so that little that like spot fits in there and then just click and that's it. Don't move it around. You can just click. There you go. And just keep clicking where you need to clean up. There's a little spot on the outside here. There's a little blue spot. Now the beautiful part about this is let me zoom in here so you guys can see. Do you see these little black things right along my edge. So to clean this up, all you have to do is just click right like in the center and it'll clean up pretty nicely. Now, sometimes if you drag, it'll just like erase that whole edge. Um, if you go this way, it might be a little bit better. So experiment either with clicking or dragging in different directions. Um, I like clicking just because I have a little bit more control. So do that on any edges where you need to clean it up. Now, if you use the clean piece of paper, unlike I did, then you probably don't have to do as much. But there's some little spots on the outside here that I'm going to clean up. So this cleanup takes a while. And this is the same kind of cleanup you would do if you had um, scanned art for like reproduction prints and stuff like that or just photos that you want to clean up nicely. So, and of course, remember Command Z or Control Z on a PC. Command Z will um, undo any mistakes. So Control Z or Command Z are basically your best friend <laughs> because this is why the digital world is so cool because you can just undo any little mistakes. Okay, so now we need to select this whole white piece of paper. Now there's a few ways of doing this. You can, if you, ha if you know you took a very nice square shot, which is very hard to do, you can use this marquee tool and go to the corner and just select it. But as you can see, uh, my piece of paper just is a little bit skewed, comes off a little bit on this on the top. It's not totally perfectly straight. Um, it's you know it's a little wavy. Um, so we're not going to use the marquee tool for this. You can use the lasso tool. If you click and hold, it'll show you the other lasso tools. Um, there's a lasso tool, polygonal tool, and a magnetic lasso tool. You can experiment with those. Lasso tool. Um, you have to do it like freehand so you can do like different shapes and it'll select that. Um, the polygonal tool is like clicking. So you click here, you click again in the corner, 
Um, so it gives you straight lines. So you can click all the way down. If you have something super straight, like I use this when I have something framed um, and I have like a mat um, and I know that it's super straight, then I use this. Um, but again, there's a little bit of waviness on the bottom. It's a little bit um, curved. So I'm not gonna use this one. So what I'm gonna use is this one right here. This is the magic wand. So if you don't see it, click hold and the menu will pop up. So you got the W here for the um, keyboard shortcut. And then find your white piece of paper and then just click right in the center. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you an example first. Let's do like 26 up here. Okay, so click anywhere in the center and you will see what gets selected. It depends on the background that you have. If you have a white background and a super white sheet of paper, it might be a little bit difficult to do this. That's when you would use that polygonal tool. Um, but for me, all I have to do is just adjust a few things. So as you can see, all this area here got selected. We don't want that selected. We only want my white piece of paper selected. So I'm gonna undo again. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to lower my tolerance. So you can lower by a lot, you can lower by a little and just um, um, keep playing with the numbers till you get it right. I'm going to go to like 20 and click again. Now that's pretty good. Um, let's go and check it out. So you can see that I did get selected. I did select all of the white, but also it selected some of the little bit, little bit of gray on the outside of that white. So I'm gonna make it smaller. So I'm gonna undo, I'm gonna go to 19 and try that again. I'm just gonna click right there. Still selected a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go to 18. Okay, that's a little bit better. Maybe we'll try 17 just to get it a little bit closer. Okay, that looks a lot better. So now I'm just gonna um, click the space bar on your keyboard to get the little hand if you wanna control kinda how you go down. And you can see what exactly got selected. See like this little blob here didn't get selected because it's not super white. Okay, but that's not too bad. Like it could be a little bit better but it's okay. I'm going to leave it for now. Um, if there are any areas that I need to select that didn't get selected and it's only a tiny little area, I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec. Let me just check all these little, which one I want to show you. This one right here. Okay, so let me click Z on the keyboard. That'll give me my magnifying glass and then you can zoom in right there. Make it nice and big for you guys so you can see. With that selected, don't click deselect or anything like that. Um, with that area selected, that white piece of paper, go to your polygon no tool, choose the lasso tool. Then click shift on your keyboard and it'll show you this little icon. Do you see it next to my cursor? It's like the little lasso icon with a little plus. Now, if you click option on your keyboard, maybe something else on a PC, I'm not sure. I'm working on a Mac here. So option gives you the minus and shift gives you a plus. And with that, while holding that <laughs> shift, just click and drag and select that little tiny pixel right there. Okay, so that's how you add to your selection. If you wanna take away from your selection, so let's say like, you wanna take this little piece out of your selection, you would click option while dragging and selecting that little pixel. So we're getting a little nitpicky here with little tiny pixels, but this is pretty good here. I like my selection. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feather it a little bit because this is gonna be like a hard straight line. And we know that in photos, our little hard straight line is not not that like not that hard crisp line um, so we're gonna feather it just by one pixel so while this is selected again go to select modify and feather and just put one pixel 
and click OK. Or you can try two or three. Um, you can play around with this if you have time, but I'm just going to do one. That'll be plenty. All right, so now that we have our selection nice and ready to go, just go to your layers. Click on your background here. Make sure the background sele is selected if you have other layers. So let's go to our layers and click this button on the bottom. Now, don't worry that the background disappeared. Just um, <laughs> trust me. Go grab your art and place it right on top. And I'm just going to hit OK and I'm going to leave it. Now I'm going to grab this black square and I'm just going to drag and drop right on top of that other layer. And as you can see, it totally cropped our art and it's nice and basically right where our white piece of paper was. Do you see that? Ah, uh, it's amazing. All right. But now our, our art is too big. So it, because I didn't size it down, if you just click on your art right here and move it, it'll like just move that piece of that, just that one area. So let's undo. Make sure you click this little link button. It looks like a little chain link. Click that. And now you can move your art. Okay. And if you want to size it down, go to command T on your keyboard O or edit and um, transform or free transform or any of those. So it's free transform and then hold shift to constrain your proportions and then size it down. This way you can see where your art is going to fall outside of that piece of paper. Okay. So you can size it down as close as you want to get to that piece of paper. If you want it to be super accurate, if you want to crop it, of course you can like make it bigger, but we're going to make it nice and tight there. Okay. So that is done guys. It is nice and finished. Now you can see there's a little bit of white showing down here. Um, if you want to fix that, go to this part of the layer, the little mask, click your brush, select the brush, um, select your size. Whoops. My size is huge. Apparently make your size smaller, make it like harder if you need it to be and smaller, choose the color white to add to your selection. So like if you want to get rid of that white, make sure you have white here as your color and then just paint over that little tiny white area and that'll add to your selection. So you can make that corner. Okay. So if there's any little tiny areas you want to add to do that. If you hold, um, like click with your mouse and then hold shift and drag down, it'll draw a super straight line for you. If you know that your edge is nice and straight. Okay. So you can do that. Um, I might actually do that like right here. Maybe a little bit more. Um, if you go beyond, you can just use black or X on your keyboard and it'll reverse these colors. And again, brush tool and then erase what you don't want in your selection. It's pretty awesome. You just use black and white for your brush colors. And, but just make sure you're on this little thing, not on your picture on this little square. Okay. But. It looks perfect. I absolutely love it. So now that you have it super nice. So the first time you do this, it's going to take a while um, because you just have so many little tiny things. Um, but once this is done, you can save it as save it somewhere as something, something template <laughs> and make sure it's a Photoshop file. Click OK and you're done. So the next time you open this, You'll have these layers, this setup and everything ready for you to go so that you can grab your next piece of art and mock it up. So the next time you do this, all you have to do. Oh, well, before we're done, click on this image 
and then hit normal and hit multiply to get any shadows, highlights, or anything like that. I like to do that because it makes it a little bit more accurate. And if I need to, I go to the bottom layer, hit command M and make it a little bit brighter because it's a little bit dark. Okay. So now if you need to mock up a new piece of art, go grab a new piece of art. I'll just drag something in here from my desktop like this. Let me size it down. Now, obviously this is a square, but it's going to crop it. So I'm just going to leave it, hit enter. And then all you do is grab that little piece of black, <laughs> that black square, that mask, and drag it up to your new layer and then turn off that bottom layer. And again, you can make this multiply and you're done. <gasps> that took like literally two seconds, right? I mean, so once you have it set up as a template and you save it as a template and you need to mock up more and more art as you go, it's super, super easy. So what I would suggest is taking a few of these photos like this, these mock-up photos with um, either matte or, excuse me, with either like a frame a piece of paper, different sizes of different pieces of paper, like different plants or whatnot you have on the side of there, on the side of it, you know, all that kind of stuff. Take a few different shots um, that you think you're going to be using for a while. Make these templates, save them. And then when you have new art, all you have to do is just um, drag it, drop, move this little thingy, and then you're done. Now there's a few other ways to do this. I'm going to show you another one. All right, guys. So the other way to do this, which is basically the same, um, again, we're going to use the magic wand tool, click right in the middle. I, I'm just going to leave the selection the way it is. If you guys want to tweak it a tiny bit more, go ahead. I'm going to leave it. Um, now I'm going to hit command C on my keyboard to copy that selection. Command V to paste that selection, and then I'm going to leave it. Then I'm going to grab my art, place it right on top. I'm going to scale it a little bit just for now. Hit enter, click OK, whatever. Um, and then go to layer, create clipping mask, and that's it. That's it. You're done. Like that was so easy, wasn't it? Um, can hit multiply on that um, to bring in those shadows, highlights, whatnot, and you're done. That was like even easier than the last one, wasn't it? So once you have that selection really nicely done, it's from there, It's there's a few different ways to do this. So this is another way, it's super easy. Now remember that it is masking it to this layer, not to this layer. So if you wanna adjust the colors, of that bottom piece of paper, it is going off of this layer, not this layer, okay? Because that one is below. So this is the one. Um, so you can go select this and then like hit Command M and then it'll give you your little thing and you can make it brighter if you need it to, like that, and then show that one again, okay? But that's pretty much it. So the next time you get another piece of art, you just, you can delete this one or you don't even have to delete it. You can just leave it there. Bring in another piece of art, size it down however you need it to be. Click enter, okay. Um, move it down so it's right on top of that layer. Turn that one off. And then it just did it for you, okay? Um, so once you move it below this one, it'll make this one into a clipping mask as well. Okay, so it's all done. Again, if you need to click multiply for any shadows or anything like that, and then you're done. Again, that was like super duper easy. If you need to, you can just delete the top one, grab it, throw it in the trash, and you're done. If you need to edit this layer, the, the art layer, if you're like, eh, it needs to be darker, whatnot, change the colors, you got to double click on it and it'll open up on its own in a separate window. Then you can go to your adjustments. Like maybe you want to adjust. 
colors. You want to play around with your colors. So you do that. You do all your adjustments here. You hit Command Save, Command S, or Save, Save it. Then close it. So just, just close it. And it'll update it right here. Okay? So again, that is super duper easy. Easy peasy, guys. I know I'll keep saying super duper, but this is like mind blowing. When I discovered this, guys, it was mind blowing to me because it would save so many hours of work for me because once I had that template built, I could just drop a new art over and over and over and just be done with it. It would take two seconds. So that's it. Make sure to save it as a Photoshop file. If you want to keep all those layers, make sure layers are connected or selected. If you want to keep all these layers and all this, this stuff that we just did. Okay. All right. Now, the only difference with this one, um, unlike the last one where you use black and white with a brush on your mask layer part to add or remove from your mask, um, from your selection, this one is a little bit more tricky because it uses the actual, like this actual picture as a mask. Um, so let's say if you wanted to add this little corner that's a little bit weird here, it's covered in paint. If we wanted to make this nice and white, and added to our selection, you would have to go to this layer, choose your brush, and then like turn that one off and then select this color. So use option on your keyboard to get your little um, eyedropper, click which color you want, and then make your brush smaller and then like draw it in using that color. Cause if you use a different color, it'll give you different results. So then you turn that one back on and it, it'll show you. And again, if you want to extend any little pieces, you have to use the color of that piece of paper. If you use like gray, it'll just make it dark. Okay. So make sure you're on that layer and you select the layer, the color of the paper to make your selection bigger or smaller. You want to make it smaller, let's say, I don't know. <laughs> let's say you don't want these little jaggedy tops. Again, in that bottom layer, you choose your eraser this time. It's right here, letter E on your keyboard. And then you just erase it. And it erases your selection. Okay, so it's a little a little odd the way it's done, but it works if you already have it nicely selected, it's all done and you're not going to mess with the selection, then it's easier to just drop your new art and then, you know, create a clipping mask with it. Okay. Okay. So now I think I'm done. All right, guys. Bye. See you next week. I'll have another Photoshop tutorial for you next week. If you have any special requests, put them in the comments below and I will get to them. All right, bye.